ladies. I'm sorry I'm running late. I have had, I am, it's been crazy. My day has been insane. Insane. How are you all? How is everyone? And I'm sorry, my family is going to make as much noise as possible because they just do that. That's just what they do. So how is everyone? I can't wait to hear about all of your week. Everybody, I hope you've had a great week. I can't wait to hear about it. So tell me what is going on with everybody. I'm sorry I'm running, um, running late. I don't know exactly what we're going to work on because I just literally got home. Today was the the day before the spring break and or the day spring break started and they had a special performance for my daughter and at school and it's just been insane and our washing machine broke so then I had to go to the laundromat to do the washing it, you know it's you know when it rains it pours when it rains it pours hi Amber hi Ann hi Linda hi Tammy hi Mary Lou Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Judy. So um, I am, I don't know what I'm going to work on. You guys have got to bear with me today. I don't know. I did do some cool stuff. I have been making some stuff. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Judy. Take a deep breath. Oh, I need more than a deep breath, you know? You guys know that I basically have given up like drinking and everything else, but I could tell you I could use a drink. <laughs> I'm like so stressed. I have some major, major changes going on in my life that I did not anticipate or see coming, and I feel a little silly, and that's just how it rolls, you know? It's how it rolls. So, I've been, if you guys are part of my Patreon, I have been working on altered books with my Patreon, with the people in our my Patreon channel. So, I have all of that on my desk. Um, I was going to, I don't know what I'm going to make. I should probably work on some power pack or something. I don't know. Hang on, I gotta figure out my lights. They're like they've decided they're not working either. Hi, Miss Brenda. How are you? Oh my gosh, you guys. Today's been ridiculous. Today was the absolutely well. Yesterday was I was helping a friend move, which was fun, but also you know moving for anyone, no matter who you are, is so stressful. But when you are moving and you've lived in the same house for like a really long time, I think it makes it worse. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? So usually I have days and days and days. Hi, Marcy, to figure out what I'm going to do. Hi, Scotty. But I didn't do it. You guys, this week has been, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to share the life changes going on with me yet because I'm kind of in denial and hoping they're not happening. But if they do, you guys will be in the loop. And it, I have to say, it's, it's very upsetting. Very upsetting. Can you flip on my light right there? So, so... Potty's making me some coffee, and I'm grateful, and we are going to, I don't know what we're going to work on, but I got some really cool magazines. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to scratch out my name. I got some cool magazines, and maybe I'll make something out of these. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Hi, Grace. Hi, Amberly. Hi, Diana. Last day to babysit Kathy and you survived. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Hi, Pokey Dokey. How are you? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity last week. So I really appreciate it. Please never feel like you have to do anything. Hi, Abstract. You had your hummy, heavy homesick with the stomach bug all day? Oh no. No, well, but everybody has managed to get a cold here, if that counts. I don't know if that counts. But um, I want to show you guys something I got in the mail, and hang on a second. I'll be right back. Two seconds. Everybody get their coffee. Hi, Alyssa. How are you? Hey, Cheryl. 
everybody got like some sort of sinus thing here, and including me, which is, you know, that's why my voice, I think, sounds so terrible. Hang on one second. I wasn't prepared because I was running so late. I wanted to show you guys I got a power pack in the mail already for some from someone and I want to show you how she sent it hang on I'm just trying to find I'm just gonna grab some glue sticks before I sit down because they're all the way across the room and I slipped on some bubble wrap I'm sorry okay so you're here Jane awesome so I want to show you, let me see, i got to put something over her address because I don't want everybody to know her address or everyone to know mine for that matter of fact. So give me one second and I will put something over her address and then I'm going to show you, i got I got someone's power pack. <coughs> Zycam, um, I haven't taken anything but the really sad thing is my littlest one has to fly to visit her dad in Boston later on tonight and so she has it the worst of all so you know flying with a head cold is the worst and there's nothing nothing I can do about it right so just give me one second I want to show you guys I want to show you what I got from I want to show you how how Julia sent me her power pack okay and are you here, Julia? Hi, Jane. Hi. Jane, what's new with you, Mama? I want to show you how she sent her power pack. Okay. So for those of you that are doing the power pack, this is how I got this one from Julia. The postage was $2.47. So if anybody's wondering how much it costs, and she sent it in this flat do not bend thing. Okay. And then she sent it like this which is awesome. So she put her power pack in sleeves, two cards per, you know, doubled it up. Aren't they beautiful? Didn't she do a great job? And the lighting looks so bad today. You guys, I don't know what to do. Um, hot lemonade really helped you, Alyssa? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just like, I didn't take anything today. I did a, the neti pot, which, you know, that kind of ebbs and flows, the neti pot thing. Aren't her power pack, isn't her power pack beautiful? So for those of you that are going to do the power pack, I think this might be the cheapest way to send your power pack. So everybody's going to end up mailing their power pack to me, and I want to show you what else she included in here. So when you mail me your power pack and you know how much your postage is, mail me that same postage in stamps. So she mailed me $2.50 in stamps because that's what it costs to send her power pack to me. So she's sending me the postage to send it back to her. So what I'll do is once I receive everyone's power pack, I'll mix them all up and then you'll get something back. Now make sure that you put your your name on the back. Do you see? Like so she put her name on the back so that you you see how she put a little sticker? You can see her little sticker with her name on the back. So this is how she sent. She, so she did hers with three of these sleeves. So she'll get her three sleeves back and I'll remail it and and she sent her stamps. And then she sent me a really beautiful card that had so much glitter in it that I got glitter everywhere. I mean, literally, like, everywhere. And it was very nice. They even have Zycam for children. Oh, that's good to know. You guys, I just think, you know, she's taking some sort of kids thing, but it's just ridiculous. But I want to show you, this card is filled with glitter. If I open it up, it's, look at all the glitter. And then they're heart-shaped glitters, and she sent me the most beautiful card. And I love it. But I don't want the heart-shaped glitters to get everywhere. So for those of you that are thinking about the doing the power pack, I'm going to say that they need to get to me by the end of May. So let's say the deadline to get... Hi, Creative. How are you? Hi, Kathy. 
They have to get to me by <coughs> um they have to get to me by the end of May and I will mail them out on June in the, the beginning of June, like by June 15th, I'll mail them out. So if you guys are, have, for those of you that have already made, mailed your pack, made your power pack, if you go into crafting mamas and you send me, you see my address in there and crafting mamas, I'm Shelly Lynn. And then send your power pack, something like this. It's, I think it's cheaper than if you put it like a deck of cards I think like a deck of cards, it would make it so fat that they would consider it a package and I think it would be more money. Whereas this one is was $2.47. You can start sending it, Scotty. She did because she finished hers. You can send it anytime. But so the deadline to, to receive the power pack to me is May 31st. And then I will send them out in June. Okay, so I got some cool magazines from the free, the, the magazine, magazine free thing that we do, the free, um, somebody write it down. I was, I'm going to call it the wrong thing. It's not free cycle. What is it? You guys, my head can't think today. I'm like having a day. They were beautiful, Jane. I totally agree with you 100%. They're very beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. Yours been finished since November, so mail them on. Any word on the new... Kathy, we're going to do the new scavenger hunt after April 15th because April 15th is the deadline, the new deadline for Janet. Okay? Hey, hottie popo. We love you and miss you, and I'm glad you're here. Let me just write out my... I want to... I'm going to just white out my address, girls. So I got the new InStyle magazine from Recycle Bank. You guys, Free Cycle was like a newspaper, I think, in L.A., right? From Recycle Bank. Kathy, she did a deadline on March 15th. She did a deadline March 15th for a certain giveaway, and I think she's going to do another giveaway April 15th for the new deadline for hers. But after that, um, after her deadline of April 15th, I will post in Crafting Mamas the new scavenger hunt book. So what I thought I might do, since I'm not all there today, but it's always fun, is I thought I might make one of those pen pal letters that I made, which I don't know if I have one over here. But I thought I would make one out of fashion magazines, because I know not everybody has travel magazines, but pretty much everybody can get a hold of a fashion magazine. So I thought maybe I'd go through... And find a fashion magazine. I love this. I love that. So I go through and find fashion magazines. So you need three magazine pages. And I thought three magazine pages is what you need to make your. This one's kind of cool too. What's on this side? Oh, I like this. I like this one, and I like the peace sign. So you need three magazine pages to make the pen pal letter, and then you need two glued together for two glued together for the. I like this. Let's see what's on the other side of that. Maybe I'll use these three. Yeah, fifty-two cards a deck. If you wanted to send a few extra, that's fine. The thing is, is if you've I want everybody to get 52 back, but if say you only have time to do 10 and you want to do 10, then do 10. You know, I'd rather you do some and participate than not do any at all, right? Okay, so I am going to figure out what I want. I like the bottom part of the magazine. So I'm going to I'm going to cut, I'm going to trim the side. Now for those of you that made pen pal letters with me last week or Whenever I made them, they're kind of addictive, right? I'm gonna now. I'm gonna make my make my my piece square. So how is everyone? Hi, Jen. How are you? Hi, Anna. How what? Anna, I saw the thing that you had, and if you got you guys go over and send me to bag full of treasures. She made the most coolest coconut bag junk journal and it is fabulous 
And I have what happened with your truck? I saw that you got stranded. You got an impromptu mini vacation because of your truck. Did everything end up okay with all that? I hope so. I really do. I mean, that would have that would have kind of put me under, girl. I don't know. Now I'm just making mine square and then I'll show you my trick that I've learned that works for me. But you guys always do. You know, I don't I think there's more than one way to do many things and so I never want anyone to think that my way is the only way cuz it isn't. Cuz I'm not perfect. Okay, so I like I like those shopping carts. Now these are a little bit thinner magazine pages than my the magazine that I used before. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna figure out where I want it on the image and I'm gonna cut them similar size. You made it home and all's well. Oh that's so good. You guys, my car is still not fixed. It is like We've, I think we've kind of decided that when we get the car back, we're going to sell it and let it go because it's been, it's just been one problem after the other, like, and I think when we get it, it back, we're just going to sell it, let it go and get a different car. You know how some cars are just a lemon? Well, we're both kind of under the assumption that this one is because anyway, so that's what we haven't even got our car back. So we're still we're still trying to live with one car, which is not easy. How many of you guys can live with one car? How many, how many of you guys live with one car? It's not easy. It's not easy when you have kids and they have sports. Hey Janet. So you guys go on over to Janet's channel, Janet M. Young. She is the one that sponsored the scavenger hunt. And if you go into her, go over to her channel, Janet M. Young, I think, isn't it New Year's, isn't it the New Year's Eve video, Janet? I don't remember the title of the video. You guys, I think my mind, I think I'm losing my mind. I really do. I think I'm totally losing my mind. Okay, so you have four pieces the same size. And you're gonna make your envelopes. That is it. You're going to bend. I try to put one corner to one corner and poke, poke in the middle. Because that just gives me a guideline to guideline to find like the, the center, which is how I make my envelopes. So have you guys had a good week? I have had, can I tell you this week has been, I don't know. It has been crazy. Okay, it's called the New Year's Streamathon video. You received what you and saying she received Jen, you received Janet's journal yesterday. You guys did a journal swap. That's awesome. Okay, this one is not square. How could that one not be square? Are all the rest of them not square? Probably, right? Probably. So, did you guys have a good week? I am like. I was helping my friend move, and I don't know whether it's just moving in general, but I feel worn out. Anne won the scavenger hunt challenge. Oh, Anne, congratulations. I didn't see who won. You guys, I haven't even been able to watch hardly any videos this week. Usually I get some good video watching in, or at least I have them playing in the background while I'm working on art. Nada, you guys, nada this week. He's almost zero. I watched, what did I watch that was of interest? Hmm. I watched Tracy's video. It's Nana's Place, just where she did her abandoned book. Did you guys, have you guys been, are any of you guys followers of Dee Dee Willingham? She does this thing called the abandoned, abandoned books. The, and she alters them. They're gorgeous. Okay, I love this, but it might be too white, but it's okay. Because it's just going to be pen pal now. 
So after you've found your center, then you're going to fold in two sides. You want to decide what's going to be on the top and the bottom because you really only see what's on the inside. Now these magazine pages are kind of thin. So let me see which one I like better. So I watched Tracy's Abandoned Books and they were awesome. I like them better. You watched Gigi today? I haven't been home. Hi, Jan. I have not been home. You got a little off, you got off late today. I'm sorry, Janet, I missed what you just wrote. I'm going to have to scroll back up and see it. Well, today was, they call it the Ho'ike, which was, is a, is a, the Ho'ike was a, a, um, performance for the kids. What? I don't know why my stream says my stream health is weak. And is it buffering? Are you guys getting buffering? Because it's buffering here. Let's see if I can reload it and it gets better. Guys, it's still buffering. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know why the stream health isn't good. No buffering here. Well, it's buffering up for me. So, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I have neighbors that game, and I think they're home, and they're gaming. You know, like, we have, like, a guest house in the back, and I think they game. And that's all. What? That's what happens. So... This week, you guys, I think I needed, like, this week should have been, like, a vacation week for me, and it wasn't. It was so stressful. So stressful. And so I'm helping my friend move, and it was, you know, you, tr you do your best, right? And I think it's always easier for other people when you deal with their stuff, you know? So... At least I think she felt that way. I think she felt appreciative. And I haven't even called her today because I was there almost every day this week and I didn't call her today because, because I had the whole hoike, which is the school. It's like a school at assembly, but they, they celebrate King Kamehameha's birthday on March 17th. I think he was born in August, but no, he's born in May. But they celebrate his birthday in... In March because one of his friends he you know because a lot of people came to the Hawaiian Islands one of his friends was from told him about St. Patrick's Day and I think he would have been 200 240 I think he would have been okay so this is the envelope and this is what's going to be on the inside of the pen pal now pen pal mail we send you love Cheryl we send you love Hi, Jane Peter Artist. How are you? So, I have all these videos that are due this week, and I haven't done them. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm behind. I haven't watched. I watched Tracy's Abandoned, video, abandoned Book video, and that was it. I did not. So, I like the peace sign, but I'm wondering. I also like the fashion model. Let's see what it looks like. Um, so, I haven't. I have not done much. Hi, Jania. How are you? So how many of you guys have sent out pen pal mail already? How many of you guys have made these and are sending them out? Anybody? I, I think... Um, I think Lucinda said she did. Was I think you... If Lucinda's here, I think you did... You're fantastic. Oh, I love that. Fantastic is great. I love that. Wish I could say the same, Jania. I'm a little worn out this week. It feels like the week flew by, and it was a week packed with so much stuff. So, 
I don't know how many boxes of things and bags of things. I think we must have carried, I don't know, 100 boxes to the Salvation Army thrift store and to another th Women Helping Women thrift store. We carried some different ones and it was just really intense. And then, because the realtor here, her realtor, because she's selling her house, she already bought a new house, she's moving to California. And her realtor here said that she had to have her house empty. I was like, I've never heard, why do you have to have your house empty? Anyway, so he made all these demands on her. So she's like trying to do it all. And you guys know as well as I do that nothing ever works out the way you think. And so this week, last night I went over, she had, they came to do a video of her house, like the video for the, for the MLS. And it was great, but it was stressful. You can only get small envelopes to square and you're fighting for larger ones. Well, Find what works for you. I mean, I'm just using the size of a magazine page. If you find something that works better, do it. This is not going to be as interesting as, say, you know, the... This one may not be as interesting as the travel magazine, and the pages aren't, aren't as thick. This is an in-style magazine, but if you use like a Glamour or a Vogue or an L, their magazine pages are really thick. Also, if you get those, do any of you guys have those luxury home magazines where they are showing homes for sale? Those work awesome too. Luxury home magazines work really well, I think. I think they work really well, luxury home magazines, but that is just me. That is just what I think. So if you have any luxury home magazines, I think that, you know, you should try it. They actually work really good. And, and most of the time you can find those throw away, you can find those throw away. What? Your cat walked in your computer. Oh, our cat decides it's going to get up at four o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Our cat decides it is going to... I don't know. She's like crazy. And then she brings in things. Like she loves to bring in geckos. She doesn't kill them. But, you know, like she, you'll be in bed and she'll bring in a gecko, which is like a lizard. Like a, like a lizard, but I don't know. They... Well, they're a little different. Um, and she'll just drop it in your bed. <laughs> and see, like, you know what I mean? See, it's like, oh, this is great. Middle of the night, little lizard visit. You try to go back to sleep? I don't know what our something's up with ours lately. At least this week, it's been pretty rough. It has been rough. Okay, so after you've done your three magazine, your three pages together... What I do is I try to bend them, try to bend them the same, like fold them the same, but there, this one is, this blue one is a little, it's a little wank, a little wank. Not that they have to be perfect, they don't, but it's just a little off. Anybody do anything fun this week? I can tell you I did zero fun. Well, I went out to eat with my friend. Your cat wakes you up at 4 a.m.? Oh, my gosh. Your cat brings you birds and bunnies. Oh, no. Ours brings as geckos. We don't have any bunnies here unless somebody's bred them. You know, they don't, they're not a naturally wild thing. So, we only have, she bring you geckos or little tiny field mice. I'd prefer the gecko than the field mice. Two chances she has five cats in it go out. Hi, Sarita. Scotty said she had to set an alarm for the middle of the night now to take her dog out. $500 at the vet Wednesday for Lucy. Oh, no. Is, Lin is Lucy okay? Well, we have a dog and a cat, so. You're working on earning some points for free magazines? I got a ton of them. And then you know what's kind of cool? If some of you guys get a little bit addicted to, you know, reading the things for the magazines... You can, I, 
did a bunch of points and I sent some magazines to a friend. I sent some magazines. I have a friend and that is sort of like a shut in and I sent some magazines there. You know, because I had all these points and I thought, mm, I sent magazines there. So I'm just folding them kind of close together, not totally close together, but kind of because because when you put them all together, it works out a little bit better. So these are much thinner. I might try a different magazine. So I just need to decide which one's on the bottom. I think I might like that one because that's the one you're going to see the whole thing of. And then this one. Probably not even going to get to see the peace sign. Maybe I have to do the peace sign on the bottom. Hmm. I don't do the peace sign on the bottom you won't see it so I guess that's the that's the winning one the peace sign so you never, you never heard of what oh no I'm sorry um it took me probably I don't know it depends on what I think when you order them if you order them like if you ordered them now you probably would get one by the first of the next month. Also depends upon which publications you choose, but it probably took me, you know, two or three weeks. I just don't know what I remember. And I, did them, I didn't do them all at the same time. You know, because I wasn't like, I think Hottie Popo did all hers at the same time. Like she did a bunch and then she ordered a bunch. So I don't know, she might be better to tell you than I am. But I didn't. I did not do it. I didn't mind. I didn't do them right. Oh, that's horrible, Spotty. Is she going to... I'm sorry that you've had to go through that. Have you guys... Has anybody else watched something really good? Hi, hi KK. What's my favorite thing to make for a junk journal? Hmm... I had my, I don't know where that little candy box when I was going to work on that, but I think the baby took it. I think she took it in the other room because she thought it was cool and wanted to work on it or wanted to like mess with it. I love making embellishments. I like making pockets. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just like collecting the pages and tea dyeing them. Does anybody else like that? How many of you guys are avid junk journalers? Write, write what you like to do. Helen says, hearts, pockets, and tags. By the end of the day, you're wiping other, people ki other people's kids' noses. Oh, no, Kathy. Love my stamp box. I She's saying... She loves your stamp box. You got I got a stamp box. Or you mean the stamps, the butterfly stamps that I got? Those are pretty awesome. Those are from Mary Kay. I don't know if she's around. Well, seeing as everyone in my house has decided to get sick, we've all been taking vitamins. Now, you guys, I cut the little bits off the top and I cut them at an angle because I found when I made a bunch that I couldn't get. If I wanted to put some project life cards or something inside of them I couldn't get them in because all right I think I'm gonna do it that way I couldn't get them in because the the opening was too small so I and see how they fold like when you're folding them they they have like a little notch there I cut it you're making it as a regular envelope, you don't need it. And then I also take my scissors in and I go straight and I make this thing. So that's what I do. How many pen pals do I have, Heather? Um, I don't know, I have a few. I have, I have one in England, and if you guys want to check out her channel, she's awesome. Her name is Michelle White, and she does, you talk about beautiful junk journals. <clears throat> I have her, I don't know, for, I did at one time have a lot. 
but I don't that much anymore. But these pen pal, some of these, some of these pen pal letters are going to to some crafting moms. Hi, BJ. Oh. Well, BJ, we send you love. We send you love. How are you feeling? And has anybody heard from Trish? She had the flu. Okay, my lovelies, let's all say hello to Pat. Everyone say hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello, Pat. Everybody, please send a big shout out to Pat. Dania saying hi, Pat. Heather saying hi, Pat. Joyce is saying hi. Kathy saying hi. Grace is saying hi. Amber and Anne, Alyssa and Amberly all say hi, Pat. Scotty saying hello, Pat. And Terry, hi, Terry. Terry is saying hello, Pat. Kathy says, I was just getting ready to ask if anyone's heard from Pat. Hi, Pat. I hope you're well. Amberly says, love you so, so much. Big hugs, Pat. Jane says, hi. You, BJ says, she loves to make things to embellish with if it comes near your bed. Oh, you're so funny. Hi, Clara. How are you? She's saying hi, Pat. Brenda's saying hi. Linda's saying hi. Helen's saying hi. Creative Wings is saying hi. Cassandra's saying hi, Pat. Much love. And KK saying hi, Pat. And BJ's saying hi, Pat, dear. And Cheryl's saying hi, Pat. Oh, you're so sweet, Terry. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Usually I'm much much more lively on a Friday, but I'm not. I'm just not all here yet. Hi, Sky saying hi, Pat. Shazzy saying hi, everyone. And hi, Pat, sending you love. Hi, Sandy. Sandy saying hello, Pat. And Anna is saying hello, Pat. Have you guys gone over and checked out Anna's channel, Bag Full of Treasures? She makes some very cool journals, but she also has a very cool... Um, set a uh, bookbinding technique where you can bookbind um, single pages. So go over and check her. She's pocket bag full of treasure. Jean Peter saying hi, Pat. Hi, Care, and Care saying hi, Pat. Okay, so. But you know what? These these you could even put in your junk journal. You don't have to send them to a pen pal if you don't. And you can make these out of scrapbook paper, you guys. Just because I like recycling doesn't mean you do have to. Okay, so now I tend to like to really focus on what's on the inside because that's generally what you see the most of. And that's what I like, but you know, you gotta just go with it and see how see what works for you. See what works for you. I will say in style magazines pages are a little thin, but that could be good because you know I then make another envelope for the outside and try to do one stamp, if not if no more than two. And I put all kinds of stuff in mine. I make paper clip embellishments, I make flowers, I make I'll put a power pack card, an AT, you know, an ATC card, put a note about myself. But let me see. Let's look through this fashion magazine and see what we can find to embellish it. So, this is a crazy Medusa head, right? That's crazy. I like it, though. Might be too big for paper clip embellishment, but we can check it out. We can check, check, check it out. What's for Pat? Cheryl saying, for Pat. Oh, she's sending you some funny things. Oh, BJ, you're so sweet. Hey, Miss Malone, how are you? How have you been? How have you been? All right, let me see what I'm going to send in my pen, pal, my pen pal mail. Let me see. 
that was a, these are pretty blue eyes. That's on the back. I can make I can make an eyeball embellishment. I can make a Medusa embellishment. Let's see what else I can make. Let's see. So all of you guys that just have fashion magazines, you can still make the pen pal mail. You don't have to have travel magazines in order to do it. Sandy saying she made a ton of these envelopes yesterday. So easy and fun and relaxing. I agree with you. Everybody's saying hi, hi to Popo. Howdy, Popo's in the house. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, I hope that what I have is not the beginning of the flu, because if it is, oh no, it's not going to be a pretty sight. I am definitely not feeling good. Not feeling well. Like, I have a headache. I've had, like, this headache right in the front of my head for a while. And I'm just not feeling great. I like body aches, you know, flu symptoms, flu, flu symptoms. Mm. I can make a lipstick embellishment. What I was kind of looking for was, I don't know if it's in here, but because I did all those perfume bottles for Janet's scavenger hunt, some of the perfume bottles are really beautiful, but those are really big, so a little too big. But I have a bunch of fashion magazines right here, so I could look around. I was kind of thinking that. Amber says that she told her husband if he, she comes down sick, it's all his fault. So what are you guys all planning for the weekend? I want to hear about your weekend. What are you guys planning for your weekend? Anything fun and fabulous? Anything fun and fabulous. You're making apple butter? Ooh, that sounds awesome. You started with a headache and a runny nose and no fever. I've got the same Jane, and I'm feeling not great. I have the same Jane. I have the same. Okay, I do not see. This is kind of cool, but that would be like a little bit, um, that would be, so I'm a little fussy cutting to the extreme, but that would be a cool paper clip embellishment. Um, I've also done glasses, and I often do. I've done high heels too that I like. They have to be like an outstanding high heel. An outstanding high heel. Oh, I could do a Converse tennis shoe. Why not? Let's do a Converse tennis shoe. Okay, so I'm going to get my i to find something and glue it to because of course I don't have any packaging because that's just how I'm rolling today, guys. I am rolling. I am rolling like I don't have all of my stuff. I might have some. I have to just look. I must have something close by. All I can say is for those of you, like who is it that had the flu for like weeks and weeks and weeks? I can tell you. If this is what it is, and I've only had it for just like a couple of days, but everybody else in my family has had something, you know, like a runny nose and a headache and no fever, though. It had, it, the headache alone will make you like crazy because it feels horrible. Well, I'm taking some Chinese herbs called Yen Chow. And if you've never taken it, it actually really works. And I've been taking it, you take it like, I don't know how many times a day, I can't remember, like three or four times a day. And it works. I mean, if you catch your stuff early enough, it works, but I don't know. I've also taken vitamins and eating well, but I don't know what's going on today. I mean, I have to tell you, today's headache is worse than, than yesterday's. Alright, there is one, one Converse tennis shoe. And I know there were some donuts there, but they were like a little small. I'm definitely going to do some eyes. Oh, 
going to definitely do some eyes and I'm going to do this Medusa's head, which I'm really loving. The flu has been horrible, right? I'm like, I have this headache. It's like terrible. You're start of the headache, Jen? Oh, God. You're taking your you're taking your kids to the science museum. Ah, Grace says the flu's been long and furious in Oregon. Oh, I hope I don't get it either. Scotty says it took her three weeks of mega antibiotics. Oh, please, you guys, send me some good love because I cannot absolutely not get sick. You got the mushroom tea. The tea is good. Cheryl, just be forewarned. You need don't. All you need is a pinch, and then you can keep making batches and batches. And, you know, it, it does work, but it also does like a detox on you. So just warning you, just giving you the heads up. So just giving you a heads up. What did you say? I don't go out. I, you guys, I hardly go out really seriously, but you know, you realize I live in a tourist area, so people come from all over the world here. But also, I have a young child in school and my older daughter in college, so they are coming into contact with people all the time. So I think I got it from the babe because she's had like a really bad headache and a runny nose for a few days and so she's like and she's got to fly with it so I mean I trust me if I could keep her from going I would but I can't so oh I didn't check this hmm hi Tanya how are you my love what's going on with you I'm gonna make sure that I have Scotty always points out and I don't check enough I want to make sure I have my sound going on and make sure I have it right. The Golden Rep is doing a demo of all their products with goodie bags. Oh my gosh, I would totally be there. That would be like my idea of like fun, fun, fun. Did you guys see who, who, who posted the picture in Crafting Mamas that they went back to Hobby Lobby and got a bunch of stuff on sale. Was it Patricia that did it? I don't remember, but it looked like an amazing it looked like an amazing haul. I wonder if I cut the head off if I cut the hand off. Hmm. I have to think about it. It was an amazing haul. Whoever went back to Hobby Lobby, that was awesome. Good for you. You guys, for me, I get to the point where I just, I, ha I have not, I am really, really, really not great with my organization. I haven't been feeling good. But you know what? Since my daughter's going to be gone this week for spring break, now that Medusa head is pretty big. Hmm. Let me think about it. It's going to be too big for paper clip embellishment, but it might look good on the magazine. Well, I have an eye. I have a shoe. Maybe let me see if I can find something else. And I got to find some. I got to find some packaging. Hopefully, I have something close by. Hmm. Let me see. What else? You guys, they have an L Home magazine or something like that there, and it was and it looked pretty awesome too. So let me just flip from the back. You went to Hobby Lobby and there was nothing worth buying. Good for you, Ann. Hi, Carla. How are you? 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 So today was super cute. They did all the all the classes. Do it's like a big performance. It was like I don't know. It was like an hour and a half long. And you have to get there really early, and they do it outside, you guys, because we live in Hawaii, and you can. So it was really cute, but I have to tell you, you're just like, afterwards, you're like, oh, I'm tired. 
I'm really tired. I had to get up extra early. I had to get up a little bit early. You spent $65 and you got $200 worth of goodies. What did you get, Jan? Hi, Liz. Liz is Corianne DeCat. That is Miss Liz B. How are you feeling, Mama? Scotty says she's just petting Lucy for a while instead of shopping. It sounds good to me. Heidi, everybody's asking you, are you settled in your new house, Mama? They want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Cat. How are you, Miss Cat, Cat, Cat? Oh my gosh, I'm going to definitely save these for some paper clip embellishments. Look at those legs. Aren't they fabulous? Look at those boots. Those are some fabulous boots. I was hoping something would just jump out at me. I guess that one's too big. I found some really cool, tiny... Um, paperclip embellishments. I mean, tiny things like that would be good. Let me see. That's a good. That's a good bottle. That is a good perfume bottle. So, you guys, have you guys gone over and subby to Barb Owen's channel, channel? How to get creative with Barb Owen. So in April, the next, she did, it, she only streams now once a month and it's on the first Saturday, I mean the first Friday in the month. And on April, I think the first Friday in April is April 6th. She's going to have Seth after. You guys make sure you have subby to her and click the bell next to her name so that you guys don't miss her Friday. And she does it Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, I think. You guys, it's always in the morning for me here because of the time difference, but I never really quite know. So she, so, but if you subby to her and you click the bell, you'll be able to get the notifications. But I just think it's awesome that he's going to be on there. And if you guys don't know who he is, he is fantabulous. He is like a, he's an artist, a mixed media artist, but he makes lots of very cool, cool, cool products. And, um, he's super cool. I think that you guys will like him. I think that he's worth, I think he's worth watching. Um, I have part of a box that is what I'm going to use. So we'll see. We will see. We will see if I have enough without having to get up and go get some more. All I have close by is this Dixie cup box and I'm not the the box is not totally empty it still has cups in it so I'm gonna cut it off and use it for what I can. So let's see. So I'm gonna finish fussy, fussy cutting out this. Hey Tammy, how are you? How are you? You sub to Barb and you're one of her VIP members? Oh my gosh, Jan, I love Barb. So what have you been making in her VIP membership? She has a, her own website that shares a lot of free content, but they, she also has like a, a paid portion, which is super awesome. So she did. I know she streams. I know she does more with her paid audience than she does on YouTube. But she has a lot of great content and some really good ideas. And you know, she tries to make things that are that are, um, or I think she makes things that are just super creative and just fun and useful and just you know, she she has she's got some good skills going on over there. She's got some mad crafting skills. 
that Barb Owen. And anytime you can hang out with somebody that's got like that kind of mad crafting skills, you're like, you can't go wrong. Okay, I need some, I need definitely need some wet glue for this. I can use a glue stick as long as I use the, as long as I use the permanent one. There's nothing in that. Guys, I'm so over, you get down to the bottom of your glue stick and then you're digging them out. Good night, Jan. I hope you feel better and I hope that you have a wonderful night's sleep. I love glossy accents. Glossy accents is awesome and so is my favorite diamond glaze. But you guys have to buy it. You guys, I've had the same bottle of it for I don't know how long. So, oh, you, thank you for saying that, Tammy. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh, see, so I have all this glue at the end of a glue stick and you're going to see how much I get out of it. We are going to see how much I get out of it. All right, so that's one. And then I'm going to do an eyeball. Let's see. For those of you, if it's your first time here, I have a thing for eyes. I don't know why. I just like them a lot. I'm going to do an eyeball, and then I'm going to do the tennis shoe, and then I'll cut them out. And then glue them onto another paper clip. West Virginia one. Woohoo! Oh, good for you. Hi, Trish. How are you feeling? I was asking about how you're feeling. better to glue your magazine images down with a glue stick but then when you're gluing the two pieces of cardboard together you need to use a wet glue when you're gluing them between the paper clip you guys I want to do that the maybe I'll do it I don't know when I'll have a chance but I'll try to do it soon I want to do that little exercise where you take one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper and you make like, I don't know, as many variations of greeting cards from them. And I want to do that with um, my serendipity paper. So I want to do it soon. So maybe we'll, we can all do it together. If you guys are game for that. If you are game for that, it will be fun. And I can already hear somebody saying, what are you going to do with them? Anything you want. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Your husband was, Carrie says her husband was at a baseball game, so he had cereal for dinner. You know what? I like cereal for dinner sometimes, you guys. Cereal for dinner works for me. I can do cereal for dinner. How many of you guys can do cereal for dinner? I can do cereal for dinner. I'm not going to leave the, I'm going to cut the, the top part of that shoe off because I don't think it, it's necessary. And I know I'm waiting for one of you guys to tell me to find my tiny scissors to do some fussy cutting. I would, but I don't have them right over here. Because I move my stuff around and, and make crafts all over, like wherever I'm sitting or and lately, one of my kids is really into watching Japanese anime. And you guys, I hate Japanese anime. <laughs> after, after I don't know how many kids we've had. We have five kids. And now, now the number five to listen to, to watch Japanese anime again. I'm like, ah. Uh. And I know that somebody's... And I don't ta I'm not talking about Pokemon. I'm talking about, you know, they have this hardcore Japanese anime. 
Almost like, they're almost like soap operas, really. Ah, I miss that she was watching it, so I moved my stuff. You had cereal for dinner? You like breakfast for dinner, Kathy? I do, too. I totally like breakfast for dinner. Totally like breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner, I, I enjoy a lot. Okay, so... done with the first layer of cutting and then I get to draw around them on the second layer and get it going. Pierre doesn't understand breakfast or dinner. <laughs> Cheryl, I like breakfast or dinner too. I like it a lot. When I was a kid I used to think it was like something really fun. Like my mother would say, do you want French toast for dinner? And we would I'd be like, oh yeah. Or pancakes or scrambled eggs and bacon. Okay, so I've done those. If you've never made paper, I'm going to just glue this one down on. I'm going to glue it down on. I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'll stick it in here for somebody to use in their collage, for whoever received this to use it in their collage. I will glue some stuff on the outside, but that one was kind of unique. Okay, so I like the back to show the brown to show. So you have one of two choices. You can lay it on this and then draw around it and cut it, or you can... Flip it over and lay it on and lay it down like that. And let's see if I have a pen. Hang on, ladies. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna grab a pencil and say goodbye to my sweetheart before he leaves. Give me one second. I do not have a pen close by. This is so ridiculous. Okay, here's a Sharpie. So, I'm sorry, girls. We've all had a few rough days around here, and it's just been, I don't know. I think I'm just having my own ridiculousness. Who's on the list? I am saying good. I'm on the saying goodbye to my husband. No, you guys, we've just had a really rough week this week. We got some really bad news, and you know, it's just been one of those things where, like, you know, like when you get some really bad news, how you just and he never asks for anything. And he's the kindest person, you know. He just got some really bad news, and it's just been really stressful for him, for all of us, but for him in particular. So. And I don't usually like take the time to say goodbye to him when I'm on live streaming, but I just thought, you know, if I was having such as if I was having as rough a time as he is, it would be good, right? It would be really good. It would be really good to just just to be kind. Okay, let's see. Right, perfect. So this is going to be the back, and I'm going to cut my notch, get my paper clip. 
hugs to your hottie. I know, Trish, you know, like how some weeks you just have like the crappiest week and you don't even need to, it doesn't even really have to be a particular reason why, but you do, but we just got some bad family news and it's like one of those things where you're just like focused on it and you, it just makes you feel worse and they feel helpless. You guys, if you haven't gone over to our Crafting Mamas group, Renee's mom is really, really ill and um, it would, she probably could really use some love. Renee is, I am, I'm so paper obsessed, so she could probably really use some love. Okay, so I cut a notch in the top of mine. I put the fat on part of the paper clip outside, the skinny part on the inside, and now I'm going to use some wet glue, and I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue it down. Now, if you, you could use stickles or whatever you have, I happen to have some watered down um, Aliens Tacky Glue just because you know, when you get to the end of the bottle, if you add just a little water, it, it keeps it alive. It keeps your glue alive. So, I don't even know if I have a paintbrush. I do. I do, I do. Hi, Malia. Oh, Malia, I loved... Hi, Tanya. I loved the picture that you posted of baby Vera Mae crying. I'm sorry. I, I mean, not that I want to see her cry. Of course not. But it was so sweet. And I totally made me laugh. I've been there so many times where we were just like sitting down to dinner and the baby just decides she's going to scream at the top of her lungs for no reason. I have been there, done that, worn that t-shirt. You might want to use thicker glue than I am. And you don't have to use a PVA glue. You can use white school glue. But you do want to let it set up. And I'll show you my little secret to setting it up. Is you need a piece of wax paper because you don't want your the glue is going to run out the sides on the front if you put too much water glue like I just did. So you want to go ahead and put a piece of tissue paper on top, I mean a uh, wax paper on top. And then I like to take two pieces of cardboard and put them on top of that. And I am going to then paper clip so that until it dries using the fat side on top. You can maneuver it a little better from the back, but what happens sometimes if your magazine images are fragile? You guys, I used a lot of wet glue, so this might very well stick. And I hope not, but it may. Um, what happens if you use a lot of... Uh, if your paper is thin... What happens is the sorry, I'm just trying to get it to line up. It's all lighting up. If the paper is really thin on your image, when you put the paper clip on it, like not the one that's going to be on the image itself, but the ones that are clamping it down so that it, because the paper clip leaves like a space in between it you can make a mark on the front of your thing. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then I wouldn't worry about it. But sometimes I find really cool images and then the marks that the clamping leaves are, you know, I don't like it. So that's just, that's just my preference. That's just my ridiculousness. My ridiculousness. Really my ridiculousness so that's just what's going on that's what I like to do and of course my, my cardboard got some glue on it that's how I'm rolling these days my top cardboard got glue here's your big news we didn't get that house oh no Oh, wow. Kat says, here's the, my big news. She didn't get the house with the large craft room that she really wanted, but they, they took it off the market altogether. Kat, you know what you might want to do? And I mean, I don't know how it works where you are because you're in New Zealand, yeah? Or Australia. I don't remember. You did find another one and purchase it? Oh, congratulations, Kat. Oh, that's so awesome. Congratulations, Kat. Big hugs. 
Get big hugs. That's so awesome. Good for you. I'm so happy for you. That's just really great. That's so, so, so great. That's so good. Okay. I really did put too much glue on the inside of that or it's just too wet. And I don't have any wipes. Guys, I have managed to move my wipes. I bought a whole bunch. Like, they had them on sale, so I bought, like, multiple packages. And then I think I put them in a container and... Since a huge portion of my crafting stuff is out in the garage now, because as you guys know, I moved my craft room. You're learning something new today. I make these all the time. This is nothing new, guys. These are just little hidden paper clips. And I like them hidden so they just don't stick out of the journal. But if you like them to stick out of the journal, so I just clamped them down onto the image and put something on top so it won't mark it, and I'm going to let it dry. And then I'll be I'll be able to stick it in my my um my happy my happy mail. Chat, I'm so happy for you. That's a big huge congratulations, girl. What that you must be so ecstatic. I would be. I would be totally ecstatic. That would be like that'd be a big woohoo for me. A big woohoo. Congratulations. I'm going to go ahead and draw on this one. I don't even have my little things out. Guys, I think this flu is like, the headache is so throbbing, it's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, ridiculous. Somebody asked me how many times in a day do I say ridiculous. I said, um, probably a million. I don't know. You earned two magazines? Cassandra, awesome. Well, I'll tell you that I love Bazaar because the pages are really thick and glossy. And I love, but you know what? The other thing you got to do when you get your magazines is you have to go back through. Okay, so you, you, you pick the ones you like, right? And then some of them you have to go to a place where it says, I don't know if it's message or whatever, and then they give you a code and then you have to take that code and click on a link. So it's not, even if you've earned them and you pick them, sometimes it's not the, the only step. And then unfortunately, you're going to get some emails from the magazine companies. You know, you can opt to like, I just delete them all. I don't even read them, but I don't think there's a way out of that. I think you have, I think you get them no matter what. I don't think they, I don't think, I think once you subscribe, you get them because I get them now from L and, um, Bizarre, and who else do I get one from? I don't know. I, mean, I do get magazine. I don't know how to opt out of the, the uh, I don't know how to opt out of the emails, and you may not be able to because they email you confirmation that your subscription has been received. You need to find more eyes. Hi, <laughs> Kayla. How are you, Mama? How are you? That's awesome, Cheryl. You're so sweet and you're so supportive. You are so sweet and supportive. I am sure Miss Stace appreciated. Have you guys seen her sweet baby pups? She got two new little baby pups and they're so gorgeous. And if you guys, uh, I'm talking about Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafters. She is, she's a sweetie and she got two little, two cutie, two cutie pups. Now I think I'm gonna put my paper clip this direction. So that means I'm going to notch it up here. And yes, you did the extra step. That's cool. Night, BJ. We love you. We hope you feel better. Oh, you're so sweet, BJ. Big hugs. Big hugs. We hope you sleep well. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to use this Mod Podge because that's the only other wet glue I have close by. 
and I put it in this container and I'm sure it's super thick. Aww. Good night to you, Miss Titta. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope you have a, an Aloha Friday for sure. You guys, we've had some crazy rain here, so that means like the not in my yard is back to the afro and bugs 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 and bugs the bugs for whatever reason they love me they may not love anyone else but they love me so i got some serious bugs going on like and i keep time giving them mental pictures to stay out of my house but they're not listening I don't like to use pesticides, you guys, because we've got baby, you know, we've got that little dog, we have a little dog and a cat and a bunny, and I just don't like to use pesticides. So, anyway. You know, that's going to be better, at least it's not, <laughs> all the glue's not going to keep smashing out because I had that watered-down aliens. Thick designer tacky. How many of you guys ever watched Aliens craft shows in the day? Didn't you love her and her daughters? What were her Aliens daughters named? Tiffany and Heidi. I'm talking about the lady that makes the glue. Aliens. Tacky glue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick. This one on here, and I'll stick a smaller piece up here. This is just for the paper clip. You use bay leaves to keep bugs out of the house. How do you do that, Kathy? Please give me the 411 because, sister, I need it. The bugs love me, okay? And it doesn't matter. It's like they're not bugs, that, they're not necessarily harmful bugs, but who wants to keep killing bugs all the time? I like the bizarre one, I Cassandra, and I also like there's one that's um guys I don't know it's like the Town and Country or one of those two. They've got lots of good magazines on there. Okay, this one's definitely gonna dry because it has got some thick designer tacky on it. I mean some Mod Podge. The inside of this one, the outside's not so great, but I can still I can still make do. I don't think that one's big enough. I can still make do. Put some glue on it. Glue of its own. Glue of its own. I should put them under sinks. Okay, Kathy, I can do that. Put them in a cabinet and in the corners and under sinks. I can do that. Do you just put bay leaves out or do you put them in like a, do you put them in like a cheesecloth or what do you do? Jane says her trained cat traps and eats silverfish. Oh. Stay warm, Debra, you freezing? The icicles. Ooh, no, no. And you're in Nebraska? Yikes. That's crazy. So tell me what else has been going on with you guys. I've told you my ridiculous or part of it, just the energy of it is just exhausting right now. The energy is exhausting. So that's what, okay, I can't even, it's just, I'm exhausted from it. Just, she says, just lay them out, even throw them under the fridge and stuff. Okay, I can totally do that, Kathy, and I think I have bay leaves. If not, I can, that is one thing I can get. I can get bay leaves. I can go to Sam, I mean, Costco, Sam's. You guys know I'm thinking about the main one now. I can go to Costco and buy a big thing of bay leaves. I can do that. Linda's saying, Kentucky has tiny red ants and they hate cinnamon. Well, that's that's good to know, Linda. That's really good to know. Did 
that is really, really, really good to know. Okay. Now imagine if you sat down one night and you just made a bunch of these paperclip embellishments. You just made bunches of paperclip embellishments and you just, here, let me just decide which one I'm going to make because I want my eye to go like that. So I got to put my paperclip on the side. Um, you just sat down and you made like, I don't know, sometimes I just take the back of the cereal box and I glue tons of little images down. And then the next day I do something else, the next day I do something else. So imagine if you sat down you made, I don't know, 10 or 20 envelopes. And then you, and then you glued them together. And then you, after you glued them together, you, after you glued them together, then you, you know, did what I'm doing, like you made a whole bunch of, you made a whole bunch of this, can you tell this Mod Podge is, this Mod Podge is so thick that you can't, uh, it's like super thick. So you made this, this Mod Podge is super thick and it's going to work good. But you just sat down and you made a bunch of different things like this. So you made your paper clip embellishments, you made this, and then if I can find some Project Life cards close by, I will do a couple of those. And then I'll, my Pen Pal Mail will be done. So I put all kinds of stuff in my Pen Pal Mail. What do you guys like to get in yours? I put magazine pieces. I put... I make you know paper flowers. Sometimes I cut out little images for people's collage. Or I, my intention is I was going to use it for collage, so I assume they are. If I grow basil in my windowsill, I won't have flies. Oh, I'm going to do that. Your cat fetches and sits up when you whistle? That's crazy, Jane. Um, our cat will come, but, you know, cats are like the kind of animals that they just do whatever they want. you got to appreciate that about them, right? you got to be appreciating how cats are independent. All right, I'm going to just put a couple of paper clips down this here so it smashes them down. What do you use for tea? I missed that part. I, I just saw you wrote and use it for tea too, but I don't know what you're what you're referring to. Your cat thumbs his nose at you. My cat does too. Our cat basically, you know, if you want her to come in, she can't ever find her. You know, like if you want her, like if she's outside, you want her to come in, you can't find her. Okay, so I've got my three paper clip embellishments hanging out, waiting to dry, and let me see what else I'm gonna put in this. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, maybe I'll make some, maybe I'll make some magazine page, maybe I'll make some magazine page flowers. Like, this is cool. This, like, colors on this is really cool. The only thing about super thin magazine pages is you generally have to fold them. I find that your, your paper cutter or your punch will punch them if you fold multiple pieces together. Mint for tea? Oh, yes. I love mint. Who love mint? If you guys give me a thumbs up, I would sincerely appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So. So, if you guys wanted to show Renee some love, go on over to Crafting Wellness and just say to her, you know, sending you some love. I know she's having a really rough time, as anybody would. When you, um, when your parents are, are diminishing rather quickly. Okay, I usually like eight or ten for my flowers. So we'll see how many I get out of this, uh, how many I get out of this page. But I use smaller ones, uh, smaller punches generally. But this is just the one that I had close by. So I was making labels for something because that's just how it is in my house. I got to be making something, right? Even if I don't need it, I got to be making it. But they don't have to be perfect. 
but I, I like, and you can use circles too, and you can cut them freehand. So some of them I'll cut freehand so you can see them cut freehand too. Let me just. I think this is going to give me 10. 8 or 10 in my world makes a better flower. It's a fuller flower. 8 or 10 circles, 8 or 10, 8 or 10 of anything that you're going to cut out for your. And it doesn't matter if they're not perfect. Now, if you have one of those tiny Tim Holtz staplers, which I do, but not nearby me, or any stapler, it works great too. But And so then I'll just staple them all together. But what I'm going to do is, all right, let's see. I am going to, I am going to use brads because that's what I have close by. I'm going to use a brad. Good night, Alyssa. We love you. And your trip to New Orleans looked like it was rock star. You have to come back and tell us all about it at some point. It looked awesome. Okay, so this is 10 circles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole in it. I could do with my big bite, but my brads are so tiny, I'm not going to. So I have these like little super tiny Stampin' Up brads that somebody sent me. And look, they even have like a push pin on them. So this is what I usually generally use. You want to line up your circles or whatever your circles are ovals or whatever you can do and find the center to the best of your ability. And I'm going to punch through the hole that you put in with your push pin. And that's it, you guys. And then if you want to put a little, let me see if I can find a small piece of pipa, a small piece of cardboard. If you wanted to put a piece of cardboard on the back. Now, I love to make, um, bow, you know, like instead of making bows for packages, I like doing this, but you do what works for you. I really like, enjoy doing this packages. All right, and then you're just going to scrunch them up. Now, I may scrunch them initially and then unscrunch them because they're going to go in the envelope, but I want you to see what it looks like scrunched. I have a cat, you know, I've only made a couple things with my crocodile. This week was not a good crafting week. Generally, I can get to do some art every day, and I only did, I didn't get every day. So I did not do as much as I'd hoped, but hopefully next week I will. Next week I'm going to definitely work on some, some stuff. Hi, Jamie. Okay, is Kathy here from Kathy's Crazy World? I think she was earlier. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I need to trace my chase. <laughs> Jane says I need to train my crocodile to chase out the the geckos. They eat lots of bugs, geckos though. So like, I had the friend I went to her house yesterday. The geckos love her house, and she doesn't like geckos, so she has issues with them, but. Kathy's still here. There she is, Jamie. How are you, Miss Jamie Love? Jane, I bet you could train it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you scrunch it all up. And you're thinking, that is ugly. Now unscrunch it. And I think it looks fabulous. But you do what works for you. You're going to unscrunch it. And you can also turn your petals um, longer ways where your, you guys, my middle daughter just got home from work and Charlie is going to have a crying festival because she's so happy she is home. Charlie has decided that 
my middle daughter is her favorite person this week, and all the rest of us can just take a flying leap. So we just laugh, though. She's such a funny dog. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Kind of cool for just a few magazine pages. And if you want them all to go the same way, just put them all back to go the same way. All right, so what I'm going to do, though, to send it in this pen pal mail is I'm going to flatten it back out. Maybe not completely flat so they get the idea. And then I, the reason I put the cardboard in the back is that's easier to glue cardboard down, right? And generally, people that receive mail for Happy Mail from me have received or have watched my videos or have seen me make these crazy flowers so they know what they are. So I'm going to put that in one of these. All right, let's see which, if my paper, any of my paper clips are going to be in done. You guys, I am going to call it an early night tonight because I have to drive my daughter to the airport, my little one. She's got to go. She leaves in a little while. So I'm not going to stay on like I normally do, but I will do the woo-woo. So how many of you guys would like to do the woo-woo? Because we're going to end early tonight because of now I'm going to go back and use some design, uh, some diamond glaze on these. But I just want you to see for right now what I have. Maybe I'll put a little glue on this because this one's not laying down because I didn't glue it all the way to the end. I also use school glue, which I don't normally do. Okay, that's one paper clip embellishment. And let's see what this let's see if this one's dry. I'm sure it is because this one had the mod the, that crazy thick mod podge because it's been sitting there for I don't know how long. And I'm going to put the shoe down this direction. And let's see, the eyeball. And the eyeball. So. Look, I can't even see the back of the magazine page. It's so thin. Okay, so I've got that going on so far in here, and I've got a couple of magazine embellishments, I mean magazine pieces there. Now all I need is I need to write a pen pal letter and maybe find a few more things to put in. And then I'm going to close it up just like this and make an envelope for the outside and put it now. Here says we would, okay. So you guys, we're gonna end a little early. So for those of you guys that wanna save for the guided meditation, I'm gonna do it now because I have to drive my I have to drive my sweet girl to the airport and but I did not want to come on and know that I love you girls and maybe over the weekend I'll stream again I don't know I'll have to see how my weekend goes but and I will get my scavenger hunt book out and we can all do some scavenger hunting together you want some woo woo Jamie I need some woo woo so bad I'm telling you I, I should have done woo woo before I didn't have a chance to the headache I think that's that's driving me a little bit crazy I am totally up to the woo woo okay so hi James how are you okay everyone oh you're welcome cat I love you girls and I and you know I know that it always makes me feel better to hang out with you guys but the headache I have to tell you I should have done some I had people in my car, so usually I would do some some woo-woo, but... Oh, thanks, Linda. Love you, too. All right, for anybody... Thanks, Joyce. You're so sweet. That would like to stay, we're going to do a guided meditation. So simple. All you need to do is inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And if you want to just hang out and catch it, the guided meditation but don't want to receive the energy, just say no and you won't. Everything works with conscious consent. So I'd like you to include someone in your meditation tonight. And it can be anyone. It can be multiple people. Always include yourself, your home, your partner, pets, your work, and anyone else that you think that could use a little extra love. Okay? I love you guys. I really do. I always look forward to hanging out with you. I just wish... First of all, I wish I didn't have to drive to the airport. And second of all, I wish I didn't have this headache. All right. So inhale through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Good job. 
receive and release. Bring to mind any and everyone you'd like to include and you only have to think of them one. Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. This is unique to your being, soul, spirit. Allow your column of light to enter deep, deep, deep into the earth. Give your column of light permission to anchor itself deep in the heart of the earth. Give your column of light tree roots. Allow your tree roots with every inhale and every exhale to grow wider and wider. Let's ask the earth to bless us with her energy. I see this energy like beautiful golden light, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Breathe in this beautiful golden light. Feel it filling your feet and ankles abs and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it, feeling, feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart, your shoulders, arms, wrists and hands and out of your fingers. Feel it filling your throat, your face and head, your neck, Feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. I would like you to focus on your column of light. Feel it fountaining out the top of your head and give your column of light above your head the suggestion heart of creation, heart of the central sun. And with that, your column is right there in the heart of creation. Let's ask the heart of creation to share with us the energy that they hold sacred. I see this like beautiful rainbow diamond light, beautiful shimmery fairy dust, beautiful rainbow colored light. Feel this beautiful rainbow light, these beautiful sparkly diamonds of multicolor entering in your column of light. Feel it filling your face and head, throat and neck, shoulders, arms, wrists and hands and out of your fingers. 
Feel it filling your chest and back, waist, lower abdomen, base of your spine. And feel this beautiful rainbow diamond light pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out your feet. Allow any excess to anchor itself or to expel any and all excess down in your roots deep in the heart of the earth. Feel your roots deep in the heart of the earth. And feel your roots above your head deep in the heart of creation. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven and earth. I'd like you to focus on the point of light deep in the heavens and the heart of creation. And on the inhale, I'd like you to receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive in love. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus six feet above your head. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus at the point of energy one foot above your head. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the top of your head. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on this, the point of light between your eyes. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Joy, bliss, and freedom. Put your attention on the point of light between your eyes. Joy, bliss, and freedom.
focus on your throat, receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. One more time, focusing on your throat. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your heart. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your waist, on your solar plexus. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your lower abdomen. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the base of your spine. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Focus one foot below your body. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Six feet below your body, receive joy, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus on the heart of the earth. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Receive joy, bliss, and freedom.
receive joy, bliss, and freedom. I'd like you to hold out your hands and tell me when you feel this energy, receive joy, bliss, and freedom. Just say yes or hey or something. Let me know when you feel it. I'd like you to imagine an infinity symbol and see it standing up and down like a figure eight. See it starting in the heart of creation, crossing through your heart, entering deep into the heart of the earth, and crossing back through your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love, receive divine love from the heart of creation, the heart of the earth. And the divine source. Ready? Receive in love. And on the exhale, give back in love. Ready? Receive in love. And give in love. 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 I'd like you to also pick a point on the earth where you would like to send love. Pick any point. It can be your home. It can be definitely include your home, the water, the air, the ethers, the mountains, wherever, a specific place. It can be somewhere, somewhere where someone you love lives. And on the inhale, receive in love. And on the exhale, send out love to the elements that you were thinking of in the point of earth. Ready? Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. And when you feel ready, open your eyes and come back. And feel free to share anything that you would like to share. Share anything. There's no right or wrong. No right or wrong. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Claire. 
Thank you for your love and prayers, Grace and Scotty. Carrie, don't be alarmed. Just allow things to unfold as they do. You know, there's no right or wrong. You know, everybody's going to see differently. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. Anybody want to share anything? Share an experience. Share what they felt. Share what they saw. Oh, you guys, what a crazy week. You're welcome, me back. I kept thinking, close the door. Wow. Who knows what that meant, right? Sometimes I get stuff like that here. You know, it seems completely random or whatever. And sometimes it makes sense. You let the stress leave, Cheryl? Oh, good. That's awesome. And you can really actually let it go. It's so good. All right, my lovelies, know that I love you so much. I'll try. If I can get it together to do something on the weekend, I will. I don't know. I've just got so much on my plate this week. You feel relaxed and loved? Oh, I'm so glad, Jamie. That makes me so happy. My intention is for you to receive what you need and to, act to feel loved. To feel loved and cherished and seen. All right, my lovelies, I've got to head out. I will try and see you this weekend. If not, I'll see you on Tuesday and we'll work on our power pack and maybe the scavenger hunt. Anyway, ladies, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And as always, from my heart to your heart, what? I'm sending you so much aloha. Until next time.